considering Arch Linux, but feeling intimidated by its reputation? While testing the waters is usually the best way to figure out if you're ready, with Arch there's a risk of drowning in technical complexity. That said, if you show these five signs, you'll probably thrive with Arch Linux. There's a running meme in the Linux community where people claim that they use Arch by the way to suggest superiority over others. This is generally because many people shy away from using Arch Linux and its terminal-first workflow, which features a text-heavy user experience with minimal graphical tools. You generally come into Linux using some beginner-friendly distro like Ubuntu or Fedora, and slowly make the transition to Arch Linux as you become more experienced. But how do you know you're ready to take the plunge? Well, here's a list of five telltale signs that you're ready to use Arch Linux and why they demonstrate your readiness. Five. You enjoy tweaking and customizing your Linux PC. If customizing your Linux PC sounds like the perfect weekend project, Arch Linux might be right up your alley, especially if by customization you're not just thinking about surface-level themes and wallpapers, but actually choosing, and sometimes tweaking, the inner components to get your system behaving exactly the way you want. You see, Arch Linux is fundamentally about choice. When you install vanilla Arch, you're handed a minimal base system and expected to build everything else according to your preferences. That means picking your file system format, choosing mirror servers for faster download speeds, installing kernel packages, selecting your display manager, and configuring countless other components that most beginner-friendly distros just handle for you. While this level of control can seem exciting, I should mention that setting up Arch can feel like building your operating system from the ground up. It's not necessarily a difficult process, but you do need to understand what each component does and how they fit together. This can make the customization process technically demanding, especially if you're new to Linux systems, requiring you to read quite a bit of online documentation. Fortunately, there are Arch-made simple distros like Manjaro or Endeavor OS, where the developers set things up for you and ship a ready-to-use operating system. You can treat these as a base and start customizing from the top down instead of the bottom up. Tweaking the visual part of your OS is much more straightforward, and you can gradually build your confidence to customize the core system when you feel comfortable. 4. You can troubleshoot and fix problems on your own. This is probably the most crucial skill for anyone considering Arch things will break. Not because Arch is unstable, but because you're running cutting-edge software on a rolling release model. Updates can introduce conflicts, new kernels might mess with your graphics drivers, or a desktop environment update might change config formats overnight. I wouldn't call it a flaw in the system, but rather a side effect of always living on the bleeding edge. As such, if you want to run an Arch system, you should feel comfortable troubleshooting problems as and when they arise. This generally involves digging into logs, reading error messages, and consulting the Arch Wiki or your distro's official forum to systematically troubleshoot the issue. I should also mention that troubleshooting an Arch system isn't as difficult as it might seem. Honestly, I've seen more people give up on Arch due to a lack of patience than a lack of technical know-how. It's very likely someone has already faced the problem you're facing and documented a fix on a forum. It's just a matter of finding the fix and following the instructions. If you like playing a detective and enjoy the process of tracking down problems, you'll probably find Arch rewarding. Refrain from updating your Arch system every single day, even if new updates are available. Frequent updates can introduce errors as one component might get an update before another, creating conflicts. I generally update my Arch system on a bi-weekly basis, usually on weekends, and find my system less prone to conflicts or errors after the updates. 3. You've made friends with the terminal. Modern Linux distributions compact with great graphical tools so you can get a lot done without ever opening a terminal. However, if you're thinking about using Arch Linux, the terminal is not optional. Even if you're using a more beginner-friendly Arch distro, you'll still need to use the terminal from time to time. As I mentioned earlier, the rolling release nature of Arch means you'll often run into system issues or package conflicts following updates. When this happens, there's rarely a graphical tool to help you troubleshoot the problem. You'll need to dive into the terminal to diagnose and fix the issue. The same is true for making core system level customizations. The terminal is often the only, and also the best, way to make those tweaks. Now, I don't mean you need to be a command line ninja in order to use Arch Linux. 
but you can't be someone who's afraid to use the terminal. If you feel scared or put off by the text-heavy terminal outputs or the programming-like feel of typing Linux commands, using Arch can prove to be an issue. That said, if you're willing to approach the terminal with a sense of curiosity and willingness to experiment, then all doors are open. The real skill is not in knowing every single Linux command, but in being comfortable finding, reading, understanding, and running them on your system. Warning. Never run a Linux command without understanding what it does, especially if it requires pseudo privileges. You can reference official or reputable Linux sources or even ask ChatGPT to understand the syntax of a command and what it does before running it on your system. 2. You want to take full responsibility for your PC. Linux in general is all about freedom and ownership, but Arch cranks that dial up to 11. It requires you to take full responsibility for your system. On the positive side, this means you have full control over your system. You get to decide what stays and what doesn't. But on the negative side, you're the sole caretaker of your uniquely designed system. When something breaks, you need to fix it yourself. If you're okay with this trade-off, Arch is one of the best distros out there. As such, installing Arch Linux is making the statement that this is your computer, and you want to understand how every piece works. You're choosing to be the system administrator of your own machine rather than just a user of pre-configured software. This ownership mentality means being proactive about system maintenance, staying informed about important updates, and understanding the implications of the software choices you make. It means reading change logs, following project development, and making informed decisions about when and how to update your system. In my experience, people who thrive with Arch tend to be the same people who enjoy building their own PCs, customizing their development environments, or diving deep into how their tools work. They're not content with black boxes, they want to understand the mechanisms behind their digital tools. 1. You hang around Linux communities and forums. One of the biggest signs you're ready for Arch is that you already find yourself spending time in Linux communities, whether that's on forums, subreddits, or Discord channels. This isn't just about finding people with similar interests, but about staying connected to the living, breathing heart of open source. When you use Arch Linux, you're living on the bleeding edge. All your apps, tools, and packages receive updates as soon as they are made available, which can introduce bugs into the system or create conflicts with other packages. Not to mention, sometimes a package just stops receiving updates because the developer abandons it, in which case you need to quickly switch to a viable alternative or risk security vulnerabilities. Now, the best place to access this information quickly along with practical real-world user feedback is through dedicated communities. As such, actively hanging out in these communities helps you stay informed about which updates are safe, which new features are worth exploring, and what common problems are popping up right now. If you're not active in any Linux community, you're likely to feel isolated and overwhelmed when major updates hit your system, and you don't understand why everything stopped working. Arch assumes a certain level of self-reliance, but it also assumes you'll lean on the collective knowledge of others when needed. Being part of the conversation, asking, helping, sharing, is what makes the Arch experience sustainable and even enjoyable. Arch Linux isn't inherently superior to or more difficult than other distributions. It's just different. It's designed for folks who want complete control over their system and are willing to invest the time and effort to maintain that control. If you recognize yourself in most of these signs, you'll probably enjoy the Arch experience. If not, there's no shame in using a more user-friendly distribution. The beauty of Linux is that there's a distro for everyone, regardless of technical skill level or personal preferences.